Welcome to the I'm a Busy Guy show. My name is Vince Lucasio and I'm a busy guy. Uh, I've got another busy guy on the show today. His name is Joe Bruno. He's the owner of Finishes by Bruno and he's also one of the co-founders of uh, Societa San Francisco de Paula uh, along with uh, Father Roberto Simonato. He was one of the original uh, founders and he truly, truly has lived the American dream. Joe, welcome to the show. Thank you to invite me. Nice Thank to you. have you here. Um, well, let's uh, start off in the beginning. What uh, I know you were born in uh, Marchisato, Italy. What made you want to come to America? Well, you Chicago? know, I um, you know I was you know I born Marano Marchisato in the province of Cosenza, Calabria, and uh, you know I, my age was about twenty four and a half years old, and I I, ne I never had the opportunity to even if I know how to make a furniture, but. Uh, I still I was an apprentice, so then I I don't have no choice. I was a little uh, angry and angry, you know, to leave my village, my town, with all of my friends, uh, and uh, come in a place where, uh, you know, I don't have no idea where I was going. You your, know, your father was here first. My father was uh, he was about two year, three years before me. And uh, I was refused to go with my father. You know, my father said, why don't you come with me? I said, no, no, I want to stay here. Then I find out that was a big mistake I did because if, uh, if uh, I told you was I can do over there, but it yeah. was, then I find out it was impossible. So, and then I decided to, to tell my father, say, what you can do? I just, I want to follow you. I want to come with, I want, uh, I want, to, I want to come in America. And uh, we did all the paperwork and uh, we went a couple of years. Yeah, and, and the conditions were rough there. I mean, I know you even mentioned uh, the house did not have running water. Well, you know, because some people know this is the, 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 the true, you know, I mean, uh, uh, I was not the only one in the village where I was uh, living, you know, in, in a few kilometers from Cosenza, which the, was a city. Uh, we don't have no water in the house, we don't have no phone, we don't have no television, we don't have no uh, couch, you know. Yeah. And, and uh, it, it was okay at that time because it, most everybody was in the same, same situation. But uh, then, uh, you know, when I came here in, in 1960, uh, you know, I was shocked. You know, my, my father was living in uh, Polk Street and, and uh, Sacramento. And, uh, Sacramento. Court Street was Sears, you know. You know, I was uh, impressed when uh, he showed me uh, the house, you know, in a third floor house, you know. Uh, with uh, the first thing he showed me the water, you not know, because I know it was a water. A lot of people have a water, but yeah. uh, no, in my uh, no in my family, you know, we don't have a water, you know. So we used to go outside, have some water, and then use it for everything to 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 wash your face, wash the hand, and uh, and the cooker. And, okay, so when uh, he showed me, um, I remember, you know, remember, you know, now it's over yeah. over fifty years, okay. <laughs> I still I remember the sink with those large sink, white, and uh, he showed me, uh, uh, said, look at this, you know, we got a water over here, we got a water in the kitchen, and he turned the faucet, you know, the, the level, you know, one is always hot, uh, cold water, and one is hot water. It was not a big uh, surprise for me. Even if I know the people, some people have in Italy, you know, those big city, hot water, cold water, but you not know, for me. Then I see, I find a uh, black telephone hanging on the wall. So you imagine, I said, this is America. Yeah, I read that you said, I think, in, in, uh, in where you lived in Italy, there was like one... It was one, one phone in, uh, in, uh, in a village hall, you know, like... Uh, <laughs> like uh, laugh, but, you know, it, because we take things for granted over here now, what we have. Yeah, and uh, so I, you know, for curiosity, I was a kid, you know, to go and just to listen what the people was doing was for me and it was something as so yeah. how those people can talk from one village to another village or one village to the city. I mean, it was complicated. Oh, hello, 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 you know, it was no easy. But it was a phone, one phone. So for me, to come in America, I'm ready. I, I, you know, I, I, the first hour of, I was feeling like an America guy, you know. But the, the, you know, my dream was to come true. You know, phone, or water in the house, and a couch, a little television. I was already, I, I said, well, it was worth it to come, you know. And then, uh, then. Uh, so tell us, please, three days before you're ready to come. 
Three days before, uh, I, uh, you know, this was our culture. I want one day. I want. Uh, I want to marry. I want to marry somebody from my time. Okay, and uh, so now I don't have no time. And I said, boy, I gotta go. I gotta find some girls. You know, <laughs> it was really. Uh, <laughs> It's a crazy ideas, you know. You know, if you think it now, you know, it's a, I can't. This happen. Yeah. So I want to say goodbye to one of my uh, my brother girlfriend, and I find my wife. My wife, she was a guest. She was a cousin, but she was living in different city in Catanzaro. She was born in my time, but she was moved. So and it was in winter time, you know, in December, and, you know, the uh, effort to Christmas. So and it was in a fireplace. And she died, you know, her mom and my, my wife and mom would die in about a month before. And then uh, one brother was a car accident, he died, was 21 years old. And she was all black dress, you know, you don't even see the face, mm -hmm. you know. And, uh, and, and she was crying and crying. And, uh, and I, 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 I start thinking about it. I said, boy, this is be the perfect girl. If I go to America and make money, I want to make happy this girl too. She her was name 17. Mima. 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 So, and I tell her, so the first day I was thinking about it. The next day I told her, hand. I said, I like your, your niece. And the third day, his so, so father came from that city to, to make a dealer. <laughs> yeah. So you asked for her hand. So I her. say, you know, and I said, well, you're in America. I don't know. A lot of people go and never come back. And I said, listen, you trust me. I promise you I come back in a three years. Give me three years, I come back, I marry your daughter. I like, you know, but I, I never, I never, I, I don't even know about her, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so really, you know, this was, uh, the, at that time, this was a... Uh, uh, <laughs> so you came, style. and then almost... To so I came here, and I, I find, uh, you know, out of the way, I mean, to me, America was a, too good for me. First of all, I, I find out about myself. You know, when I was still in, uh, in my time, I want to do this, I want to do that. You know, you can do because you are nobody. You know, I was, a, my, my father was a cabinet maker, a carpenter. I, you know, you got to be carpenter or cabinet maker because of your father. Yeah. He was, you know, this is the way Carry it was. Carry on the trade. Yeah, you say, so you, you follow your daddy, you know, and, uh, and one day you help him. So then my father came in America and, and I, I, I don't have the father to help him. You know, I, yeah. then I designed. So, but uh, so then you work. Well, you work for Parenti and Raffelli. So then I was as, like, first of all, you know, when I was over there, and I was, you know, just an apprentice. Then I don't even know if I was good or was bad. But I, I know I have uh, in my all the time in my mind. I say I know I can do this. I know I can do this. I know uh, even in a politician, I was a list of the communist. I was a list of social, you know, the Republican, any kind, because I want to see the difference between those party. And, uh, you know, I, I was not even feeling like I'm dumb, you know, I'm stupid, yeah. you know, so I say, you know, people, I cannot say nothing because I'm a nobody, you know, a, f a fifth grade and I stopped yeah. school, you know, you can, you can go far away. You but know. you had the trade, so then I'll tell. I have the trade, but the trade was, you know, do me too good. Yeah. So when I started to work with the parente, you know, before parente was made. a huh? He's a furniture maker. Maker for it. By the time it was about five, six people on Roosevelt and, and, uh, and Pulaski in a big garage. Five people, and I was the first one from South Italy. The, those five people was all in North Italy. Mm -hmm. And a little guy like me, you know, eh, yeah, I'll try. Let's try in one week. He said, hey, you do good. You want to stay here. So, and I remember it was in the Christmas time at the, uh, for, uh, at, or it was an holiday. And it was a present, a little ham, you know, was to give it to those five people. I took my, and the guy said, no, for you, because you just to start with, work with us. I really? think it was the 4th of July, some, yeah. you know, okay. And uh, he, he took it away from me. So that's why I was uh, angry and angry. I angry to, uh, and, 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 you know, I, those things I never like. Yeah. So when I go it back... It was almost like the same thing that was going on back in Italy for you. Yeah. So when I go back to work, if it was holiday, I say, I got to show what I can do. So then when really I was... Uh, and I tell all the young people, I say, no matter where you are, no matter where you come from, and no matter, you got you to gotta believe in yourself. And you got to say, you know, I, I'm, I got a trait. I can do something, and nobody's better than me. You know, yeah. I can do what uh, somebody else cannot do. So, and I showed to the guy, six months later, I was a foreman. 
with my block English, you know, it was very difficult. But uh, I was a copy uh, from one box to the well, other. finishing box. was your specialty. No, I was a cabinet no? maker. Then That's what happened, all of this interior decorator, we used to work for interior decorator for rich people, you know, with the company, parenting. And those people was crying all the time. They said, oh, the cabinet to look good, but the finish, the finish okay. look commercial, you know, look good, you know. And, uh, and I was starting to understand, you know, what those people was uh, no happy. Okay, so because I was learning in Italy how to do by hand, over here was a spray, electrical tools, you know. And we used to do in Italy by hand. So, and then I, I, I say, you know, you, you want me to try a little bit. But it was already a few years uh, I was doing furniture. And then little by little, I started to really love to do this finishes. Now finish, uh, very custom made finish for, uh, f uh, you know, rich people. For, for, right, for a lot of people, we talk about the president of Sears, yeah. uh, Johnson Publishing, a Saudi prince. But I want to, because we 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 we've got a lot to tell, so we got to move along. <laughs> but I want you to tell the story about the Chevy, about how you were here then for so three years. So then, in three years later, when I was promising my my fiance, uh, I was uh, I was work uh, with branding. I was to do some south job. I was I was do a few things, you know, uh, to make some money. I want to go back in Italy, like. Uh, I came here with uh, nothing in my pocket. I don't yeah. even have, uh, you know, what, when I say nothing. And then I started to build it. You know, my, my first bank, and I, my first check was $95. My $95, my father took me to Pioneer Bank. I don't know yeah. if it's still there. North Avenue Plus. Uh, North Avenue Plus. And he told me, and he said, you know what? You can put a money we save over here, and you got an interest. You know, and I don't even understand about yeah. bank. You know, I never, was. I was, you my my bank over there was a, just to go pay the bills. Okay, my, so you buy the Chevy. Tell the story about yeah, the I Chevy. Yeah, I buy. So I, then you know when I make some money, I feel it myself. I have six, seven thousand dollars on the site. At that time, I can go buy a uh, two build over there. You know, mm -hmm. but uh, I say you know what? I came here poor. I want uh, I want to play like I'm a rich guy and I want uh, I want to enjoy myself. Twenty seven years old. <laughs> I, uh, I bought the beautiful Chevrolet, you know, uh, and, uh, and, uh, Impala, uh, 2800 at the time. Wow. So I went to an agency. I said, how much, uh, how, how, much, how much needed to, I want to take this with me in Italy. So I, I, I told you it was an impossible dream. But he said, uh, $420. $420, I drove the, the, the Chevrolet to, to New York, mm -hmm. you, know, you know, with my problem, with the language, you know. But I did it. I drive to New York and I find the, 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 the you know, I put it in the boat, you know, they put them in the boat and, and go to Naples, Italy. So my, my fiance, she, you don't have no idea. Yeah. And everybody was with me in the train station, where you come, and then uh, I had to drive in Italy with this car, you know, 27 years old. And it was uh, very, very risky because, uh, it was so big, uh, yeah. I cannot well, go the through. The streets are as wide as that car. <laughs> but I did it, I did it. And then uh, a couple of weeks later, uh, two weeks, I started to move uh, very easy, you know, to one city to another city. One month later, I married my wife because I cannot wait. I said, I don't got yeah. no time. Let's marry as soon as possible. Uh, this is the way it was at the time, you know. So you kept your promise. You said, I I'll promise. be back in three years. I took it with me. Uh, and we started to run you know, all over Italy, from south to north Italy. Uh, with my money, I was paying for the gasoline over here with some uh, a coupon, you know. Yeah. And, uh, and then I started my invention. <laughs> so let's tell a little bit about, because I know you said um, you at first were a cabinet maker, but your strength was uh Well, my, was uh, then I, I, I find myself... Uh, I have a talent, you know, those were rich people who were looking for unique uh, look, you know, the, everything has got to look old and antique, museum look, okay? And now, because I was go back and forth in Italy, I was going to those museum church, and I, I, I you know, I was looking, looking at uh, those old church, and I, I started to say, maybe I can try to do this, maybe I can try to do this, I can try, and I was lucky because uh, I have those big uh, design with me, and it was appreciated. Oh, you do good, yeah. you do good, you do good. Who one of those, Richard Himmel? Well, Richard name? Miller was one of the top guy, the top designer, and I still, I believe, is, is that, you know, but uh, 
he uh, was a fantastic. I go run all over the United States with him. Yeah. I was in London. I did a work in London. I, uh, I'm in Boston. Uh, and, 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 uh, and I come Joe Bruno. And then uh, 30, years, uh, uh, 30 years ago, in 1982, I started my own business. I worked with Parente for 21, 22 years. Okay, I learn, I find out a lot of people, and then, uh, you what know. What did you tell Oprah? <laughs> Oprah, I, I did Oprah when I was ready business for myself. Uh, the decorator said, I got the guy who can do for you something very unique. I don't even know her. You know, I'm not too crazy about those movie star, the player, you know, you know I, I worry about my business. And so, oh, well, you know, and I understand that everybody say, oh, she make a movie, you know, the color purple, purple color. Yeah. So what I, I start thinking, what color I got to do purple. for her, yeah. So I'm supposed to work in a, a bedroom, bedroom set. And I, I come with the idea, I say, I got to show uh, some leather, leather look, goat skin leather purple. But purple with different shade of purple, you know, dark light, dark medium purple. To put it together like a, like a mink coat, you know, in the back you got a lot of pieces. Yeah. And this is what I did. No so uh, when, uh, when the decorator showed the symbol, she said, I got to come and see this guy. You know, unbelievable. Look at so what I did. So came to your studio. So then the decorator make an appointment, but the, the, he, he, I surprised him. I said, you know, Monday, she's supposed to come and see me. I said, I'm going to cruise on a Saturday. <laughs> and she said, oh, you cannot do this. Oprah, we feel come and see you. I said, listen, what I got to do? I pay it already. I pay it in full. Me yeah. and my wife, we're going to cruise. So two weeks later, when uh, I came back from the cruise, she was surprising me. She came with the design, knocked on the door. We opened the door. It was Oprah Winfrey. Yeah. She don't even say hello. And my daughter was very disappointed wow. because you deal with those kind of people, you know, mm -hmm. famous and famous and famous. And you, you know, I take care of you, you take care of me. Yeah. So you say good morning, I say good morning to you. So she don't say good morning, and uh, my daughter said, I don't want to talk with her. And she started to be, you know, she was a star, you know, big star. Yeah. But when uh, I, I stopped her right away, you know, I said, I want to be sure you understand me. I said, right now, you come to me because you need me. That's mm -hmm. true. Yeah. I said, you need me? And I need you, but you came and see me. So I said, we got to work it together. I said, you're the best in the television. You do the best to show. And believe it or not, I'm the best in this business. Right, one lady uh, from Johnson <laughs> said that you're uh, uh, like the Michelangelo of furniture. Michelangelo, Michelangelo. was uh, Mrs. Johnson. Johnson Publishing. Yeah. She was crazy about me. She called me Valentino Designer, Armani Designer, Michelangelo. I said, Michelangelo, forget about that. I said, I'm, yeah. He was he born poor, Michelangelo. I said, I, went, I came poor, but I, I, don't, I don't want to work for nothing. Well, something I know that, you know, I mean, we'll move on from the furniture, but that you're very proud of is, uh, you know, the Calabrese in America organization that you're part of. When, uh, uh, how'd you get involved with that? When I started uh, my business in 1982, uh, I have with me, next with me, I have this good friend of mine, Father Roberto Simeonato. He was a young priest. I was very close with him, okay, very close. And the guy was a very simple person. And he was telling me, thinking, the guy he was thinking about, you know, when, when I quit my job and he said, Joe, why don't you start it for yourself? You know, you're smart. You can do good for yourself, you know. And I, I listened to him mm -hmm. and I did it. Now, you know, I said, what I got to do for my region? Yeah, I come from South Italy. I said, I want to put together some, I don't want a club, you know, a club, too many clubs. I say I want to I want to I want I want to make some uh, like a uh, big party once a year to put together the community and uh, celebrate something. So he gave me the idea because we got, we got this uh, San Francisco Paola, which was not too far from where I was come from. It's a it's a the church over there. Saint. Yeah, the patron saint of that area. The and uh, and he said, why don't you tell us? Uh, we know we f we make a we make a one day we dedicate it to the saint. And in September 1982, we started with a mess in, uh, a st no Stone Park, in, uh, yeah, Stone Park, okay. Uh, and it was a church, and we did a mess, it was beautiful, the church was full. And I started to feel, I said, oh my gosh, I can do this, you know. You were the chairman of the dinner. I was dance. the chairman, and so then I come the president. So what happened then, four years later, 
I was go back and forth in Calabria, in Italy. You know, I was making money. I was go, you know, yeah, two times a year. And, and I was go to the region of Calabria. And I said, you know, what about uh, some uh, help? You know, I was looking for poster, custom, traditional custom. I, I don't even ask for nothing else. He said, listen, if you go back in Chicago, to, you can put it together a social club. You know, with religion organization, we can do much. But if you make a, a social club, I said, we, you'd be surprised how, well, well, how many help we can give it to you. We nice. can send uh, some musician, uh, orchestra, uh, folk group, a singer, you know. And believe it or not, I did it. When and I this come was back. 30 years ago. 30 years ago. 30 years ago, 30 years ago we started the feast, and uh, four or five years later, we started the Calabrese in America, such a club. And now, uh, I mean, I know it's to the point where, tell us about uh, Ride Television, which is a network in Italy, international, about how they've covered you. Well, the, uh, any time, uh, then uh, 20 years ago, 20 years ago, to this, year, this month, it'll be 20 years, we started to make a trip in Italy. So we, this was, uh, you know, together with uh, Turano family and the, uh, we went to New York, it was the president of a region, and it was the tourism, uh, the guy who's in charge of tourism. And I tell her, uh, you know, me and Turan, I said, well, what about if, uh, uh, we try to bring, a, you know, Italy, America into Calabria, we show the Calabria. Because uh, I was impressed, and about a couple of months before, I was going to Kangoo, when the Kangoo started to, to build the Kangoo. And my friend, they gave me a free ticket to an agency, travel agency. Okay. And uh, because of the guy, he gave me a free ticket. I said, why free ticket? They want to show Kangu. And then we can sell the Kangu. So I have the idea. I said, you know what? I said, President, you know, if we show Calabria, maybe little by little we can bring a lot of people. So hey, believe it or not, in a, one, uh, a few months later, we put it together. The region I paid uh, some part of the, the expense. With one thousand dollars, we we go for two weeks that time. Nice. Okay, so we 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 about four hundred people with the, we live in a bus was go run in Italy. Okay, in South Italy, the special. So we start uh, you know one one years, two years, three years, you know, and we start to be closer with the region. Okay, because I was from Italy, a lot of people say Italy, America I was a problem with the Italian language, so I was uh, all the time interviewed so by the television. Were, right, and then, and now. Um I wish we had pictures of it. I'm sorry we don't. But they've interviewed you about how you decorate your house uh, for Christmas. Well, on the Christmas, when I used to live on, um, on the Helmut Park for 27 years, I see people was to put a light in, uh, in the house, okay? And for me, I want, I want to be number one, mm -hmm. you know? So I don't know why, you know, even in my business, I say I got to be, I say if somebody told me can do better than me, I'm, I'm sure myself. That's I gotta be. That's a good spirit, though. No, yeah, that, uh, this is the way I am. You know, if I, if that guy put a light in the wind, I put a light in the chimney. You know, I was going <laughs> the chimney. He put in the chimney, I put in the garage. He put in the garage, I put, a, I put in the alley. Okay, so, and then I built this house in here in, uh, in, in Tasca, and I have more room, more the house is bigger, and uh, I, st it was not too many, no too many competition, you know, yeah. but. Uh, the first years, I have the first price for the village, you know, and I go back over there and I say, what the price is? I said, pizza for two. <laughs> <laughs> I said, okay, pizza for two. Yeah, you know. but you were number one. So. I was a number one. The next year, I was a, I was a number two. And I said, where is the number one? And he showed me, you know, yeah. I said, I go over there. I don't believe it. I, I go back, I said, you mean... Uh, you think you did it better than me. And he said, uh, well, you know, forget about it. It's a politician. You got to do what you, uh, we cannot do to every year. So, uh, you yeah. know, to, the you same, know, guy. Year, same, same guy. So what happened on every year, every year, so I see people coming back and forth, back and forth. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Now you want to, uh, what do you do next year? So what do you do next year? So, so <laughs> every year so I got to try to do better than before. Better, better than. Um, before we get off of the feast, um, because we're running out of time, but it's August 11th through the 14th, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at Casa Italia. Yeah. And um, you can go online at Casa and or Calabresi. www.calabresinamerica.org. Calabresi and it should be, all, hopefully, up, it's up on our screen. 
Uh, there's all kinds of things. There's a mass, there's a procession, there's food, entertainment. Yeah, because uh, this was uh, the idea, the way I, what I said before, I don't want uh, just a new feast like uh, a lot of uh, thing for the kids. For the, it was uh, like, you, if you see the brochure this year, so we invite it like an invitation. Yeah. You come and see. Go online and check it out. But I want to give you a minute to talk, because I mean, we could talk an hour about it, but yeah. about the award that you won, the Cavalier, Cavalier uh, of Italy. Well, you know, I, I, uh, I, I got a lot of, a lot of, you know, presentation, a lot of work. Uh, but the, the 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 big one I was Man of the Years in '94. Uh, but Man of the Years when the when the Italian Council called me in '19 uh, no uh, 2003, uh, he said I got to talk with you, and I went to the Italian Council, and they say we are plans for to be nominated Cavalier of the Republic of Italy. I uh, by I, the president. Uh, uh, no, I, I mean I still I'm shocked because. Yeah. Uh, I know in Italy I have, I have a few people, Cavalier, and with uh, a little uh, cane that was working uh, like God, you know. Yeah. Because of those, are, those are, uh, this would be, and the people really, some people, uh, unusual. Some people like, uh, at the same time I receive a uh, Navy Pier and the Crystal uh, Room. The, the Crystal, Crystal Room, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, was in a, uh, I was in a doctor, originally Italian. Uh, for Rush, it was a uh, uh, surgery, Brent's surgery. Uh, and then there was another guy from Philadelphia who was a uh, manager in the Hilton Hotel, the general manager. Uh, you know, when I look at myself, I say, what I mean, what I'm doing here, you know, with these people? I mean, no doubt. Because your spirit and your heart. Yeah, man. but and then when the council, the Italian council, read the, 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 the what, um, how do you, how do you say, you know, read my, you know, why, you know. Why you won. Why. I mean, it was, uh, it was uh, you know, you read it for, for 20 minutes. Yeah. You know, you this, you this. Well, show us, I mean, because I know you don't have the medal with you, but the thing that you said is well, this, Yeah, this is, I mean, a lot of people understand, you know, out of the way, called Cavalier. Well, it's hard to see it, but it's a little thing he has, but you also won yeah. a big medal. Well, I want to thank you for being on the show. Here's some cannolis from, uh, oh, thank from you. me, Busy Guy, and from Angelo Gelato. And, um, yeah, thank you. I really appreciate it. I you know I great. like you. I like your cannoli. Yeah, <laughs> especially Angelo's. So, yeah. um, oh, excuse me. Hello. Uh, this show's on. Almost... Yeah. All right. Bye. Okay. There's some other guy who wants to be on my show, but I can't. Okay, I'm anyway, too busy. Th thank you very much. Hey. Thank you. Salute. I tell you what, you taught the, the young Italian Americans that have the dream, the, to dream. show the I dream. I believe in yourself, you know. Never say, I wish I can be this way. No, you got to believe in what you do. And, do. and do the front. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, I got to leave. Yeah, it's okay. Busy guy, yeah. yeah. <laughs>